I wasn't watching. Um, John, does it work with a macho bloke? And does it work with a... So, you know NLP, don't you, John? Yeah, but yeah. when you say macho bloke, are you talking about on him or teach him to do it to someone Well, else? teach him. I'm trying to find the barriers. That What's my, my thing that I found is is these macho guys, and Colin was kind of the one, you know, these guys are kind of the softest, sweetest guys in the world. And they're they're oh, compensating for it. And it and so when you talk to them this way, you cut right through everything. And uh, Jonathan uh, Fries, the guy I like to work with, and Colin, they're both compassion server. They both love to talk to these guys and get them to cry. They mm -hmm. both like, they both take so much pride in talking to macho guys and getting them to cry. It's hilarious. So yeah, I think they cut right through it. Well, I mean, you wouldn't have much trouble with me then. So uh, everyone's seen Toy Story 3? Everyone's seen Toy Story 3, yeah? That scene, no. you haven't seen it? Seriously? <gasps> oh my God! There's a scene. You know that. You know Toy Story, the toys, yeah. yeah. So there, yeah. this Toy Story three, they found them their way onto a refuge site. You know, rubbish and domestic waste. They've gone along this uh, runway and they've fallen into this sloping thing that leads down to the furnace and the fire is burning up from the furnace and they scramble to try and get up the side they scramble on the horse and the and woody and all the characters and they just realize they can't get up and so they just stop and sit and hold each other's hands oh my god i was in bits absolutely <laughs> in bits i just uh and that's for a cartoon. So you have no trouble with me. So how about then, I, my father, in fact, goes out with a woman who, for reasons that I probably understand she doesn't, is very um, requiring validation. And she can, in the distance between the oven and the table, self-critique her own cooking to the negative. Ten times. How would you work with someone like that? So the thing is, is, is I want to understand their uniqueness. So I would try to understand her uniqueness because depending on what her uniqueness is, then I could tailor the unconscious compensation directly at it and to, to help her stop that destructive, you know, because it, it's destructive to herself. It is. I, I just got. I just got uh, a note from Koliani. She's got to go in two minutes to go to the dentist. Tell me. Speak to me. Your point. Okay. So Jonathan, I just want to take a step back when we were talking about men and teaching this technique to men. Okay. I have a twelve-year-old son, and he started junior high here in Canada. And I will let you know, junior high is awful. Okay. There's just no Brutal. other way to describe it. It is awful. Within the first two weeks, he was dealing with two bullies. Um, John and I worked together. John did not teach him directly. He taught me, I taught my son. And he's got those two kids eating out of his hand right now. Like literally eating out of his hand. The one just cannot stop giving to him. It's like, they'll go to the convenience store. Here, have candy. Here, have this. Here, do this. You know? <laughs> and the other one just adores him. Uh, he did a presentation yesterday. They're all like kind of mm -hmm. high-fiving him afterwards. It's like, oh, that was so awesome. Um, mm. The other kid as well said, oh, remember to show that Smithsonian video. They literally, they are affirming him so much right now. It just blows mm. my mind. So if you can <laughs> teach this to a 12-year-old boy, you can teach it to anybody. Honestly, yes. it's yes.